Hey, Donnie, how are you? I'm good. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, brother. So how was your day so far? Pretty good, man. How was your day? Oh, it was fantastic. Thank you. So, Donnie, Beyond the Veil, your new album is to be out on October 13th. So would yes. you like to tell me a bit about the song writing and production behind this new upcoming album? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, it all started, uh, believe it or not, with the very first song on the EP, Death Note. Um, our, our our friend Josh Balls, formerly of Motionless and White, he got a hold of us and said, hey, man, I really want to produce a song for you guys. So we had we kind of had Death Note in the back pocket, and um, we said, all right, well, we'll come up to your studio with this one. And it just started out as a single. That's all it was going to be. Uh, and then we, we sent it out to get reviewed, and uh, ironically enough, one of the people that picked it up was M and O Music out of France. Um, so we started talking back and forth, like, "Hey, I, I kind of know your band. Did you guys go out with Soulfly?" I said, "Well, yeah, because his their PR firm did some of the PR for the Soulfly tour we were on." So they said, "Hey, you guys want to release something?" We're like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" So we literally just put an EP together off of Death Note to get released. You know, it's now going to be released October thirteenth uh, through M and O Music. And uh, but yeah, it, it all started out with just doing a single. <laughs> it turned into this whole EP, man. Yeah, so. We uh, we we stuck to our roots uh, as far as you know who we are as a band. Like a lot of our music is about serial killers, murder, and death because we're nice and fluffy that way, you know. So um, we just stuck with the whole theme. You know, it's not a concept EP per se, but every song is played off of one another. So it is it is a very themed EP for sure. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, talking about the album, five amazing songs. Totally mind blowing, great songwriting. Amazing. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And enjoy the vocals as well. It's it, it has melody, it has rhythm, it has rocking power. Everything was put together in this album. So thanks to you guys for bringing up an amazing EP this year. As a band, what are your thoughts on this album? How do you guys feel about the outcome? Ah, uh, we feel great about it. It's probably me personally. I think it's probably the best music we put out uh, as of late. Um, especially with having a great producer behind us like we did with Josh Pauls. He brought in a lot of the symphonic elements. So like a lot of the orchestral stuff, we'd never done that before in any of our previous music. So with that coming in, it kind of gave it a little bit more of a Demi Borgir type of a feel, yeah. um, but we still stick to that industrial roots as well. Uh, like with the programming and stuff on Thousand Ways to Die and Every Day and stuff like that. Fantastic, fantastic. And any big plans on the day of the release? Well, we do have a, an EP release show on October 14th, the day after it drops at Love Drafts in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, we were supposed to go to Europe this year, um, but that that's kind of up in the air right now. But we do have another tour announcement coming very soon, so keep an eye out for that. So, And you guys are known for touring, so what's the plan for 2023 and 2024 in terms of touring? Uh, 23, we were, like I said, we were supposed to go to Europe, but that's kind of in the air right now. Um, but from from the release of the EP to the end of the year, we might be a little quiet, uh, but come to, come towards the beginning of next year. Like I said, there's going to be a tour announcement coming soon. So just look out for that. Interesting. And any big international touring on plan? Maybe. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And uh, a couple of months back, you put up the video for the first single from this album, Death Notes. So, uh, great song, amazing video. Would Thanks, like man. To talk a bit about the making of this video. Yeah. So the, um, we uh, so again, this was uh, a help from Josh Balls. We wanted to do a music video for Death Note because we love the way the song turned out. And uh, well, that song is about a serial killer that's in the band that winds up killing somebody while you know, they, they kill somebody at every venue that they go play at. Right. So we wanted to make a music video that obviously reflected that. Uh, so he got us in touch with Scent Productions, uh, also out of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. And um, we got a hold of him and he's right up our alley. Like he's like, dude, horror is my jam. That's like, that's what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got together. He gave us a whole bunch of storyboards. And we gave him a date of when we wanted to shoot it. And uh, we he we kind of let him have free reign with it, man. Like, you know, because there's all the blood splatters and then the stuff like that, man. So it, it, it turned out great. Uh, it's probably the most favorite video that we've ever done. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we do have another video dropping the day that the album drops for the song Prey. Uh, so that'll also be coming from the same production company of Scent Productions. 
Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, any more videos you're planning? There will be another video dropping, I think probably in November uh, for the song Thousand Ways to Die. So also keep a lookout for that. Awesome, awesome. And in terms of merchandise, what are the plans that you guys currently have on? Well, we do have we have uh, we do have new merch uh, coming down the pike. We ha we're having new shirts being made up to go along with the EP. Um, of course, we'll have the EP for sale. Uh, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new stickers uh, available. Just basically, just getting ready for the whole uh, release of the EP. So everything will coincide uh, with the release. Interesting. And uh, the history of we say puppets goes back to two thousand seven. So how has right. this journey been for you guys so far? Yeah, it's been a interesting one to say the least. Um, so originally the band started out in 2005, uh, but they were called Fine Art of Hate. And they didn't, the, the band, the guys didn't get along. And the only two that survived was Johnny and Twisty, the bass player and the lead singer. So they still wanted to continue on. And they, they changed the name to Suicide Puppets. Uh, it was kind of like one of those, band name generator things like back in the day uh they saw it on a screen they're like hey that's weird and we like it we're gonna take it so they changed the name from fine art of a hate to suicide puppets um so fast forward once they changed the name about like, i think it was about a month after that they found me i had an ad on a like a musician's wanted ad uh in our local area they found me on that i auditioned um i stayed with the band for quite a number of years um Shortly after I joined the band, about a year later, we got Steven Suicide, uh, our guitar player. So then we were a four piece. Um, and then further down the road, we had a keyboard player at one point, Lame Suicide. Uh, he he's no longer with us, which is a shame. He's a hell of a hell of a keyboard player, but he went on to go do do you know do some other things in life. Uh, we do miss him dearly. Um, and after he left, we picked up another guitar player, Donnie Von Gallagher. Um, that was back in 2000, I want to say 10 or 2010 or 11, we picked up Donnie Von Gallagher. Um, and then in 2012, unfortunately I had to step away from the band for a while. I had some personal issues I had to take care of. Uh, I wound up moving to Colorado. Uh, I met my wife out there. We got married and, and, uh, I moved back to Pennsylvania in 2018, I think it was. And, um, joined right back up with suicide puppets it's like we never skipped a beat and honestly when i came back in 2018 that's when a lot of things started getting you know progressing a little bit further than they had been uh because we got picked up by distilled entertainment our, our management team ryan ross great guy uh you know now we got we got our record deal with m and o um you know we're working with with freeman promotions for our our, our publicists so that you know, it's ever since 2018, things have been have been picking up and getting a lot better. So yeah, there's been a a bunch of iterations with the band, if you will. But for the most part, the core members of this band, myself, Johnny, Twisty, and Steven Suicide, we are still we're still part of the band. So the, basically, the core members are still there. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, I know there has been a lot of amazing, great moments over the years. But is there something special for you that you want to share with me today? Absolutely, man. The most special moment for me uh, was when when we went out on tour with Soulfly back in 21. Dino from Fear Factor was playing guitar for them on that tour. And I've been, a, I've, don't get me wrong, I love Max Cavalera, but I've been a huge Fear Factory fan since like the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. And getting to meet Dino and actually tour with him was probably like the biggest highlight of my life as a musician. <laughs> So it was really cool, man. We got to make that connection. And, you know, we still talk time to time, which is kind of nice. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, oh, is, you told me, like, you have uh, the uh, concept of always taking uh, songs about serial killers. So is there any particular reason that you guys went into this particular uh, topic? We uh we love the dark, macabre, mysterious, the weird, you know, you name it. We're that's that's we love all that stuff. Like, um, some of our a lot of our songs basically are about serial killers for the most part. Uh, murder and death obviously falls in there, but uh, we take a lot of inspiration from the serial killers, um, and and horror movies as well. Like when we go out on tour, we just we watch a ton of horror films. That's 
that's just who we are. You know, we love that whole genre. So when we formed this band, we wanted to kind of stick to that that vein of like, this is what we love. You know what I mean? If you're going to do what you like, you might as well really do what you like. So <laughs> we just stuck with it, man. And and that's that's kind of our stick. You know what I mean? And uh, and everybody knows us for it, for that. And it, and it goes along with our stage presence with the fake blood and body parts and all kinds of other stuff. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds great. And what would be the big dream for the band? Big dream? Oh, man. Arena tours? Like stadium tours? That would be the big dream, obviously. Uh, you know. But, yeah, baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. And uh, finally, any message that you have for the fans around the world? Yeah, man. October 13th, this new EP drops. Friday the 13th. <laughs> Sticking with the theme. Yeah. Um, yeah, just just look out. You know, the EP drops on October 13th. Look out for our tour announcement we have coming up. Um, you know, we have new merch on the way. You can go to puppetmerch.com. You can get the new T-shirts. You can actually pre-order the, the EP right now um off of our web page you can also pre-save it we have pre-save links that are available if you don't want to buy the album you can actually save it from like itunes or spotify and all that stuff we have all that available on our website our merch site puppetmerch.com you know also you can go to pup suicide puppets.com which will be your gateway to facebook instagram twitter i think they call it x now um threads all the social media sites <laughs> youtube yeah Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this wonderful opportunity to have you on this interview. A real pleasure to meet you. And uh, thanks for putting up an amazing album, Beyond the Veil, on October 13th. We are all looking forward for the release. And thanks again for the musical awesomeness that you guys have been giving us over the years. And I wish you all the best and really hoping to see you on the road. Heck yeah, man. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take it up, sir. Have a great evening out there. How are you too, man? <laughs>